Hi everybody, this is Joanna with Abstract Art Journal and today I'm going to do a watercolor demo which I call Dry on Dry. So to get started uh, I'm using Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors in Gamboge Hue which is like a medium yellow and also Permanent Rose which is a real pretty pink. Uh, I'm going to be using a number three round. This is a sable watercolor brush. And I'm also going to be using my Derwent watercolor pencil. Uh, the kind of paper I like to use is 140 pound watercolor paper. And I'm also going to be taping it down with some masking tape. I will be using a couple of Q-tips also for this demo. So uh, I like to paint small because I like to frame a lot of my work and hang it on the walls. And I use 8x10 mats. So I did a small drawing of a vase with some flowers, but just kind of circles where you want your flowers to go. So let's go ahead and tape that down. Uh, I like to tape down the uh, tape down the paper. You get a nice line in case you want to put a light wash for the background. Uh, the other reason is that you can tilt your board with your paper. You know, in case we decide to add water or something, then the paint will flow. So you just go ahead and tape it down. Uh, I like to just tape it down. And then you get a nice line, you know, like I say, if you're using a, um, if you're going to be putting a background color on it, then you have a nice line around your painting. So we'll go ahead and put some paint into the trays. Uh, watercolor dries lighter than what it is, so you want to make sure you have plenty of paint. Uh, if it's too light, you can always add paint. When it dries, if you still find it's too light, you can go ahead and paint over it. And then you get, um, you know, like a little more dimension to it. I personally like to have everything done at once. <laughs> I want to like paint it and have it be done. Um, I also like to use this kind of a brush with this tip. What this does is uh, I can go ahead and mix the paint with it easily. And um, that's helpful. So we'll go ahead and mix that up. Watercolor is always a surprise. It's always fun. And you just never know what it's going to do. So it's it like it's lots lots and fun okay so I'm doing this we're going to be doing it so it's fairly dark because it will dry lighter so to get started I'm going to go ahead get that done okay we're going to go ahead and outline the vase and the flowers in this red Derwent watercolor pencil so we'll go ahead and do that now on watercolor paper, if you can still see any kind of pencil lines once you do your watercolor, you can erase it. Just be very careful. On the 140 pound watercolor paper, uh, it's pretty, it's really super thick, so it's fairly hard to damage it. But if you're using a lighter paper, you want to be careful. Now, you're just making kind of like big circles to where you want your flowers to actually be. And I'll show you what when we paint them, how we can merge it with the using the Q-tip. So let's go ahead and start. We'll start on the vase. Go ahead and get a little pink and make a nice line around the vase. Yeah, there we go. Get a nice little shadow area on it. Uh, the nice, you know, the number three brush is nice and thin if you're doing like, you want to do kind of detail work. Okay, we'll get that going. And then let's go ahead and at least circle the flowers. And I'll show you how we can um, do, we merge them kind of with your, uh, with the Q-tips. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and go ahead and get these going. And get like a nice color on them. Uh, 
I like to do a lot of flower drawings like this. I like did hydrangeas. You need I used my zero brush. It's really fine to make really tiny circles. So you've got your circles going and then I want to go ahead and add some yellow into the uh, vase and also into the flower. So go ahead and add some yellow uh, into the vase and also into the flower so we can make the flowers orange. Now the paint is wet so you are going to get a nice little effect going like that. So we can add a little bit of water to the dry paper, especially to the vase area. Uh, that is going to blend nicely, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll start, we'll go ahead and take the Q-tip, dip it a little bit into the pink, and kind of go around the edges and make the edges. We're, you know, we're kind of blending it out so we can make like jagged edges with the Q-tip. Uh, you do get a different effect when you use the Q-tip. So we're going for the look of like a vase of flowers. And you can get back the white on some of the flowers. I'll show you how to do that. And I want a little, little drop in here. Okay, so there we've got like our flowers. Now I want to clean up maybe an area. So Go ahead, I might want to have a little dot in each area. But that kind of gives you an idea. Maybe not quite as much yellow in there. There. Okay, so there's your demo, and there's your little vase of flowers. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have fun trying this out. Uh, and this is just a quick little watercolor tutorial for you. And have a fun art day. Thanks for watching.